In this video, I will show you how to create a fiscal year date table in Microsoft Power Pivot and use the same date table to summarize your sales data by fiscal year, fiscal month and fiscal quarter. Some time ago, I had uploaded a video about how to summarize sales data by year, month and quarter. And on the same video, I had got many comments from Excel users asking about how we can summarize sales data by fiscal year, fiscal month and fiscal quarter. For example, in India here, the fiscal year starts from 1st of April and ends on 31st March. So today's video is based on the feedback received from Excel users like you who comment on my videos and tell me about what videos I should make in future. So let's get started. Before moving further in the video, you have to ensure that you have the Microsoft Power Pivot add-in installed. If it doesn't reflect in the tabs above or if you haven't installed it, go to File menu and click on Options and here click on Add-ins and from here you can insert the Microsoft Power Pivot add-in. Alright, I am in Microsoft Excel and here I have some order data. My objective is to summarize this order data by fiscal year, month and quarter. And in India, the fiscal year starts from 1st of April and ends on 31st March. The calculations I make in this video, you can modify the calculation as per the requirement in your country. Because in some countries, the fiscal year starts or financial year starts from uh, 1st of July or uh, 1st of August so you can modify the calculations as per your requirement. The first thing you have to do is there is this date column order date and you have to ensure that it is in the date format so I will convert it to, into a date format. Okay after that I will select all the data here and convert it into an official excel table. I will press ctrl T on the keyboard and click on ok. So this will convert the data in official excel table. After that I will go to power pivot add this table to the data model. Alright, here I am in Microsoft Power Pivot. I have already added the order data table to the Power Pivot data model. Now I will go to the design tab of Power Pivot, go to date table and create a new date table. Now observe here that Power Pivot has created a date table with different date fields. But this date table doesn't suffice my purpose because I have to create my calculations on the basis of fiscal year and fiscal month or fiscal quarter and those fields aren't here. So I have to manually create those custom columns by creating new columns here. The first column I will add here will be the fiscal year column. Before I go further in this video and start creating these custom fields in the date table, remember that Power Pivot uses DAX formula language that is data analysis expressions. It is the same formula language that is used in Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Power BI's user interface is more friendly than Power Pivot. Alright, let us go further. To create the fiscal year field, I have to use a conditional logic. The logic is if the month number is 1, 2 and 3, that means it is Jan, Feb and March. The, the logical function should return previous year dash current year. And if the month number is greater than 3, that is it is uh, April, May, June and onwards, the function should return current year dash future year. So this is the conditional logic. So this is how you go further here. You will use the conditional function if the logical test here is calendar table and month number. So this column here is less than equal to three. It should return previous year. That means current year minus one. That is calendar table year column minus one okay and a hyphen and current year that's calendar table year column okay comma else that means the result if false the result if false is current year that is calendar table year column and a hyphen and future year future year is year plus one that means calendar table year column plus one close parenthesis hit enter this this logical function will add a fiscal year column here you can notice here that when the month is jan jan 2011 this column returns 2010-11 okay and when the month is april april may onwards that means april 2011 this function returns 2011-12 so this is how the calculation works all right, having added the fiscal year to my calendar table or date table, my next task is to add the fiscal month. So I will add a next column here. I will name it fiscal month. 
Remember that the fiscal month in India is three months behind the calendar month. When it is April, that means fourth fourth month of the calendar year. It is the first month of the fiscal year. So my task here is to bring the calendar month back by three months. So to do this, I will use the e date function here. E date. Okay. So the start date is the date column that is calendar uh, calendar table and date column and I will bring it back by three months I will use minus three here in the e date function close parenthesis now it will return the date I have to return the month number so I will use the month function here I will wrap the e date function in the month fun uh, month, uh, month function close parenthesis hit enter this calculation will return the month number notice that when it is Jan it is the 10th month fiscal month that means uh, Feb will be the 11th month and March will be the 12th month so as you can see the calculations here April is the first fiscal month here so this is how the e-date function works now having added the fiscal month to my calendar table I will add one more column here and I will name it fiscal quarter to calculate the fiscal quarter I will use the ceiling function the ceiling function rounds a number to the nearest multiple of whatever number we may specify. For example, if the number here is 10 and we specify 3 as the significance, the ceiling function will round this number to the nearest multiple of 3. That means to the next multiple of 3. That means it will round it to 12 because 12 is the next multiple of 3 after after 9. And if the month number is if the month number is 7 the ceiling function will round it to the next multiple of 3 that means it will round it to 9 then we have to divide this uh, whatever the ceiling function returns we have to divide that number by 3 for example if the ceiling function returns 12 we have to divide it by 3 because 12 will be the fourth quarter that means 12 divided by 3 will be 4 similarly if the ceiling function returns 6 we have to divide 6 by 2 that means it will be the second quarter so we will use uh, here a fiscal quarter as a number fiscal month as a number so it will be the calendar calendar a uh, table and fiscal month okay comma significance will be three okay then we will divide this number by three and we will add a prefix here the prefix will be q okay hit enter on the keyboard and it will add the fiscal quarter quarter 4 January month here and it is the quarter 4 here similarly when it is April it should be the quarter first when the month is April this is the first quarter here so this is how you can add the quarter fiscal quarter calculation in your date table so having created our calendar table with the fiscal year fiscal month and fiscal quarter fields we can now go further and add a relationship between this calendar table and the table order date table which we already have in Microsoft Excel so what we have to do is that we have to click on create relationships under the design tab in power pivot and under this drop down we will select the table one it is the same table order date table which we have added to power pivot model and we will create a relationship bit based on the date field that is the date in the calendar table and the order date and the order date in the table one that is the order date table we will click on ok and it will create a relationship between these two tables based on the date field now if you ever want to change these relationships at a future date you can click on manage relationships and uh, edit a relationship if you want to change the fields or anything like that you can you can also do that so i will close this here now having created a relationship between these two tables i will go to microsoft excel again and insert a pivot table all right after creating a date table in microsoft power pivot and adding a relationship between that date table and the order date table that i had added to the power pivot data model i am now again in microsoft excel and i can now insert a pivot table here and i can now easily summarize my sales data by fiscal year or fiscal quarter so this is how we will do it i will create a pivot table on a new worksheet then Suppose I want to uh, summarize the sales data, I will bring down the sales data in the values box here. I will double click on more tables here and create a new pivot table, yes. Then I will expand the calendar table and 
bring down the fiscal year in the rows box here and now you can observe here on the left that Microsoft Excel has summarized the sales data by fiscal years that is in 2010-11 you had this number of sales in 11-12 you had this number of sales and so on and so forth now if you want you can also add fiscal quarter as another field here and it will the pivot table will summarize your data first by fiscal year then uh, uh, add quarter is a sub subfield here you can see that in 2011-12 in quarter first you had this number of sales in quarter second this number of sales and same goes for other years as well you can add a fiscal month also suppose i will drag the fiscal month here in the rows box okay you can see that in 2011-12 quarter one then you have this sales data bifurcated by fiscal months also so this is how you can summarize sales data by fiscal year, fiscal month or fiscal quarter in Microsoft Excel using a date table created with the help of Power Pivot. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe the channel and hit that notification button to get a notification whenever I upload a new video like this. Thanks for watching the video till end.